Get protected today at shieldmutual.com. So here's what I'd like to know. Why all the negativity? Uh, there's cop block. There's the art of not being governed. There is uh, enemy of the state. I'm a proud enemy of the state or adversary. There is, um, let's see, there's the hating of the state. You have to hate the state. There's sheeple. They're all sheeple. You gotta educate those sheeple. There is the tards. They're all tards. Those statists. So there's a lot of negativity in the way we talk. I try to avoid it, frankly. But it concerns me a little bit. Are we so focused on the negativity, on the extremes, you know, like carrying guns and uh, showing off our guns in Freedom Plaza in Washington, D.C., and getting in people's faces? I've done it too. Uh, are we so focused on this negativity, on these extremes, on the getting in the peace? people's faces part that we forgot that what we're supposed to be building uh, an alternative to the state uh, have we forgotten that in order to be effective we have to be builders we have to be creators uh, have we forgotten that you know if we're gonna tear down everything uh, I saw a post the other day where somebody said we have to tear down this image of the cops as being the good guys. And, uh, and that's reasonable. But at the same time, what are we going to replace that with? Because you have to replace it with something. I have to tell you, there are many people out there who are sympathetic to what we have to say. But they don't... And, I, and this was me, too. I was, when I was a minarchist, I was sympathetic to a lot of the things people... You guys were telling me, even about anarchism and the state and all that but you know what I didn't know what was gonna replace it so I couldn't accept it I couldn't finish accepting it because um, I couldn't imagine what was gonna come up come in its place and there are a lot of people out there who are like that we, we have to keep that in mind um, and I think we're all guilty of this forget the shakiness I'm doing a little bit of hiking here <laughs> Um, we have to keep in mind that people need something to replace. I mean, the, we know this. People have been programmed all their lives. All of us. Uh, we've been programmed in the schools. We've been programmed in, on TV and movies. We've been programmed by our parents and other adults around us. Cops are the good guys. The government is us. The government is doing the right thing to let democracy work. Um, constantly programmed. It's not just something that happened in our youth and it's not just something that happened in our schools. That's the least of it. Even a, a popular show like Alias or the latest movies, they're all programming us. And it's hard to overcome that. We have to not just say, well, this, this is how this book by Robert Murphy says it's going to work. We have to actually make it work. So I'd like to see not cop block, but cop replace. Uh, not uh, the art of not being governed, but the art of governing voluntarily or cooperatively. Uh, they're not sheeple. They're just regular people waiting to be activated like you and I. Um, they're not tards any more than we are. And the only people we hurt by dehumanizing them like that are ourselves because we're destroying our own credibility. Um... So let's see a little more positivity. Let's focus on where we're taking this. Let's make some productive and constructive things happen in our community. You know, as somebody on my blog said the other day, you know, we need to focus on individual profit. Or not on my blog, but on, on my Facebook profile. Um, instead of thrashing around and all these things that only hurt us. You know, I have a lot of respect for, for Adam Kokesh and for his courage for what he does, but his folks right now are asking for $50,000 in order to finance his defense against 
uh, firearm and uh, substance charges in Virginia and Washington, D.C. And, um, you know, the ability for an individual to go out there and basically raise their middle fingers to the government, to the oppressors, is, uh, is admirable. But uh, can you imagine what we could be doing with that $50,000 instead? As far as uh, seed capital for agorist businesses, I mean, I don't need any of it. I'm fine. I can bootstrap a business with five bucks. <laughs> I've done it before and I'll do it again. Um, but there are other people who could use capital. And here we are sending our capital into lawyers. We're basically, uh, you know, an arm of the government, similar to the corporations. I mean, they're, they're educated at uh, government-funded schools. They uh, have to pass uh, the, I assume the bar exam has something to do with the government. Um, and they depend on the government and judges and, and other lawyers and lawmakers. And, I mean, they become lawmakers themselves. I mean, it's all wound up inside the government machine there. And here, you know, Adam Kokesh, the anarchist, the badass, and he is, I'm not attacking him personally at all, but what he, what's he going to do? I mean, the agorist, he claims he's an agorist as well. What's, what's he going to do? He's going to have $50,000 of community money go into uh, lawyers' pockets. Man, come on, what the fuck? That's just insane. Let's think about what we're doing. Is it really constructive to send people to prison over and over and over again? Is that really helping us? What are we achieving with that? So, more positivity, less hate. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe uh, below, either my blog at AYMFL.com slash subscribe or on YouTube, right down here. Leave me a comment, what do you think? Am I a sheeple? Am I a tard? Should I be blocked? Should I be hated? Are you my enemy? Let me know. <laughs> Get protected today at shieldmutual.com.